Hi, thanks for joining in. My name is Basha and welcome to my channel. Um, excuse my wet hair, I literally just got out of shower and I have um, been delivered a parcel. Uh, so I thought I'm just going to quickly just jump on here and show you what I have bought. So my favorite seller has dropped some new orchids and it was around my payday. I'm pretty sure she knows where my payday is. <laughs> Um, so I have decided, I've opened the book already, I've decided to get a few orchids. So the first one is, oh wow, it's a big girl, um, okie dokie, oh, it has flowers. So the first one is, Franco Stylis Gigantia Variety Cartoon. How beautiful are those flowers? How stunning are they? Wow. Uh, and I can, I can sense this fragrance. It's a bit... Mm, spicy? And citrusy um, with, with an undertone, but I can't describe it. What it, it, what it is exactly. I can't describe. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but again, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's potted in something, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I will have to have a look later on. But um, the roots are pretty nice. Uh, the leaves are just absolutely stunning. I had this Ranko Stylist before, but I got rid of it. Um, even though it was growing pretty nice, but it was getting quite big and it never flowered. When this one came with a flower, I can't, in flower, sorry, I can't believe how gorgeous. The camera is washing out the color a little bit because the color is more um, magenta-like, um, more like a squashed rosemary um, juice. There we go. It's beautiful. I am well chuffed with this one. Uh, I just now have to find a space for it because it's pretty big. Right, so I'm going to put it here. Um, out of sight of my... Um, so that's one box. I have to be quite cautious here because leave my dog is here um, and uh, he likes to rip boxes. Okay, so I've got another box here and there's a few orchids in there which I have seen on the website and I really like them. Uh, they are gone now unfortunately, they sold out pretty fast. Um, so this one is, the first one is, so this one I have got here is Catalia, and it's Catalia, there we go, it's Dynard Blue Heaven, and I have seen the photos of the flowers, absolutely stunning, um, the kind of purplish, um, with really deep purple, yellow, and orange uh, lip, um, they are they're really nice. They are very very nice. Um, uh, the cutley is quite nice. It's potted in the um, sphagnum moss, which obviously I will report because I don't I do not grow cutley as in sphagnum moss. I have a, my environment is completely different. It's a nice one. It's got a little bit of markings on the back, which I think I don't know what that is. It looks like just um, uh, like a dirt, really, that will wash off. It's definitely not fungal or bacterial. It just looks like a maybe either a dirt or or um, a sunburn. So anyway, so that's my first one from that box. Now I've got the next one. There we go. The next one I've got is Phalaenopsis stuartiana. Um, 
and it has got this little tiny mottled leaves i don't think you can see the mottling here much on this uh, it's got a little damage to the leaf but um that will grow out apart from that i think i'm gonna check inside yeah the roots are pretty nice um put it in the sphagnum moss but the sphagnum moss is bit i would say not too fresh yeah i don't there we go i don't really remember um ordering stuart yana i need to have a look at the um at the invoice and then i've got next one okay and the next one is phalaenopsis fimbriata um now it's a species phalaenopsis and it's it's got white flowers with purplish magenta um kind of in the center um i've seen it on the photos and it, it's not kind of phalaenopsis that the flower the, the flowers are not kind of the ones that will um big and showy um that you know that will just draw your attention but it's got its charm because the flowers are very delicate and they just the, the color of the flowers contrast really nice at least on the photos and it looked really really nice and i thought why not okay the next one i've got here oh it's a big one okay i know what it is it's phalaenopsis daria i don't know what's going on with me that's what's wrong with me i'm lately have been the uh, um buying lots of phalaenopsis <laughs> um now this one is a peloric one because it's obviously it's got peloric lip um it kind of reminded me of uh phalaenopsis that i have lost um and also it's kind of like a mixture between that one and another one i bought um i've had unboxing of one um which i bought a phalaenopsis called i think sparks um so it reminds me of this one as well uh is but this one daria is more peloric um so yeah it's pretty nice just a standard phalaenopsis <laughs> but i do like them lately i don't know why i don't know it's why am i going maybe because they're so easy to flower and eventually they do flower when you've got quite a few of them it, you can have a really nice display right i've got next another one um and this one is oh yes it's phalaenopsis aphrodita ssp formosa variegata so subspecies formosa um it for i bought it basically for the foliage because the foliage is absolutely stunning and i apart from orchids i collect um tropical plants as well um and i'm obsessed with variegated uh, foliage um and i thought wow it would be so nice just to have a phalaenopsis just like that the flowers as well i've checked it's a very um free flowering um orchid and this, it has got quite long flowers it produces quite long flower spikes with a lot of flowers on them um so and i like the shape of the flowers as well flowers are white but there's something about this whiteness they're really kind of like a crispy white so yeah so that's the next one and and i have got this one which is phalaenopsis hawaii dragon girl Cross with LD Bear Q. Um, so it's got a really nice flowers, that one. Um, it's one of those exotic kind of, it's one of those novelty phalaenopsis. So it's very kind of vivid flowers. Um, foliage is pretty nice. Um, now I'm checking because I think I might be missing one orchid. And it's the orchid that I really, really wanted to get. 
Ah. Oh. oh no, it's here. It's in the box. It's in the other box. Wow. I've almost um, messed that orchid. So, the last one that I wanted to get for ages and ages and ages, and that used to be popular before. Leave it. Um, but not available on the market. Um, it is Phalaenopsis Bronze Maiden, but this one is 3408. I don't know if it's a kind of some sort of variety, um, but the foliage, because you've got different varieties. Some of this is like a pure silver foliage. Some of it is, um, um, well, dude, I'm sorry. I'm literally fighting here with my dog because he's trying to get into the box. Leave it. Um, so yes, and that one actually came in spike. So I'm really impressed. I like the foliage because it's mottled. Um, I wonder what the flowers gonna be. The photos on the flowers are um, the sorry, the flowers on the photos are quite like a vivid pink because we know that Phalaenopsis bronze uh, maiden could uh, the flowers vary um, from a specimen to specimen. So. Um, you know, you've got flowers that were orange, flowers that were kind of dusty pink, vivid pink, flowers with um, no solid color. Um, and so, <laughs> I'm sorry. And so, this is the culprit here, why I cannot talk and I cannot focus because look at this, look at this face. Uh-huh. Because he's trying to eat the box. Yes, <laughs> Thor, leave. And he doesn't listen. He thinks that he's an adult, you know, and he doesn't have to listen. Well, right. So I'm going to finish this unboxing now because um, I can see that my dog is waiting impatiently to rip all the boxes. Um, I will do a report, obviously, eventually on those orchids. Um, and I will update, I will do a video in three months' time updating how they're doing in my care. But thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.